EA Welcome Sports. Welcome to your to the game. Foot Daily Update. My name is John Sims, and this is the reply to comments. If you guys have been here before, you guys know we have a sister video where we go and talk about the reply to comments from our main videos. This is what we're at. So make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe, but make sure you ding the bell if you guys want to get, make sure you don't miss the daily update to keep you guys trading and making them coins. Love your videos on Tik. Mm, you got some moves. Thank you, Tipsy. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that, man. Uh, for the gold flipping, do you bid or snipe or what it seems more efficient? More, more efficient is actually bidding. Um, bidding is going to be more efficient with the, with the rate of return because the idea is this. You can bid on 50 cards at a time, and let's say you win 15 of those. By, within two and a half minutes, you can win 15 typically uh, from the numbers that I've generated and the con conscious numbers that I've generated. You can bid and win 360 an hour if you win 15 every every time you go and bid for 50 because it takes two and a half minutes to bid on 50. You win 15 of those, you win 360 an hour, you flip those for 200 coins, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the idea is that when you're flipping that stuff, and you can snipe it, but the thing about it is sometimes it takes a minute before you get one, two minutes before you get the second one, the next minute, and minute, 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 minute. Next thing you know, you may have gotten 60, may have won 60, but you're, you didn't win 360. And so bidding, bid, 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 bid. Glad I made the vid. Yes, sir, Carlos. GG's brother. What is the best guaranteed profit investment right now for people with 1 million coins? The fastest return on profit is the 81 plus uh, gold common, my John Sims, the John Sims gold common method. And that is the, the easiest and fastest way to get a rate of return. However, those 84 imports were fantastic. We're coming out of it just a little bit. Uh, so I'd watch today's episode. Um, we're kind of in a sell, a, a brief sell period uh, before we get into some more rewards and so we can go back on investments. But uh, right now I would be focusing while you so you still have technically i think one or two days you still have to all you have at least 24 hours i believe or 18 hours or so to flip those gold commons and so if you see this i'd be flipping the gold commons until tomorrow until we get a new release of team of the weeks then we can kind of accurately predict and that's why you come back to the foot daily update we can accurately predict which cards are going to go down and then we try to get you a 24 to 48 hour price prediction on where those will continue to go and when you should be buying you shouldn't if you not every single day should you be buying you should be technically selling as much as you can as fast as you can as long as you have a re, uh, as as long as you have a place to put those coins that's the idea so you just don't want to miss out on opportunity cost so it's really about it's really about the buy point not the sell point that's why i always say what is the drawback uh besides the time it takes for spending coins on 83s it's uh, very low and wait until they go up by 20 30 percent also great video just start watching all race subscribe jordan g there's no there's no downside there's no downside there there really is no downside because if you think about the rate of return if you think about let's say we go and we spend 10 million coins right and we and we unassign out and we go unassigned at a, a, a point of ten thousand. now let's say we sell all of those ten thousand cards at let's say 1600 whoop, whoop, ten thousand so that's one that's that's the six million times 0.95 minus 10 million that means that we make you know almost 50 percent right almost 60 percent return if we go from 1000 to when we do 10,000 how long would it take you to do that? It would take you probably a week to be able to just invest all of it and then also sell all of it. And so is it a good idea? Yeah, it's so easy. And that's actually what a lot of, it just takes a long time, man. They have a high profit. They, they don't have a higher profit margin. I would say uh, they have a higher profit uh, return on investment ratio there's a difference so like if you spend it's just a common difference it, 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 it but you are correct you are correct uh in the idea that let's say you spend ten thousand coins and you and you win a thousand coins back that's technically a higher margin than yeah I, I guess it could be all it could it could be all construed in in, in uh, terminology but the idea is that you want a higher 
you, your price, your your return per cap, per your capital is much higher if you do the 81s. And so you get a higher return on your investment, which means a higher margin. So it's a higher marginal percentage. That's what I'm gonna lay it down for. That's what I'm laying it down for. But yes, if you buy them at 1K each and 1K is in turn, not only would you be a headache, but you also wouldn't be able to sell them all at once. With that in mind, I think you could do um yeah ron i i think uh you know it's more of a it, it is a headache more than anything and you kind of lose touch of the game but you would probably be able to sell most of them pretty quickly especially if you took if uh you i i think uh just depends where the market is because if the entire market so like it just depends on how good you are at selling uh really because if you just know the buy period it then it becomes an actual matter of selling when you're at 10,000 supply. If you have 10,000, that means that you're taking roughly like, you know, you're, you're selling. I don't even know if you can get that supply. That's the only thing. It, that, that's where it's really hard to get the supply. That that's that you, you run into supply issues, not demand issues, I think. So I asked if I could, uh, could take my losses and just reinvest in, do it since the beginning of, uh, and now I'm making profit finally. Yeah, 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 you definitely could. Um, I think that profit, yeah, the, the, see, the market came down really low. Matt, the market came down really low. The market came down really low, lower than I, I, didn't, I didn't expect it to, to it, it broke like three, four resistance lines practically. Um, like, let's say we take 86s. They were trading at like 30K, 32K, like uh, about a month ago, and then they came down to 28K. And then they came down to 26k and then they came down to 23k and then they broke that went to 20k then they broke that and then went to 16 or 18 and they broke that and they went down all the way down to 16 which is which was absolutely unheard of really realistically and so um yeah i mean it just it, it just so like that's why we that's why i do it daily is i just keep checking that market to see where really when those are going to break down and so i always try to buy five ten percent underneath like when I'm really trading, when I'm really paying attention, I try to buy five or ten percent underneath where the common common entity is, because that means I can essentially sell for five percent more, even if it drops five percent down the next day. If it drops five percent, I can technically sell within ten percent of that margin, so I'm able to still recoup an investment and just you know, it's it's kind of like nudging your way down, and sometimes you can get a quick ten percent cut, yada yada yada. But yeah, exactly, man. Uh, I think, yeah, it's it, whenever you go away from the game, you want to just you want to invest whenever things are low. Dollar Island is at twelve five. Should I still invest? Um, here's the thing, man. Um, not at twelve five. You want to be you if if when if you was twelve five yesterday. I apologize. I know that sometimes this takes a whole day to respond. So I always like it when you guys uh, help each other um, and comment on each other. But twelve five. Here's the thing. Whenever the market is at a an average price you can always buy at least five to ten percent lower than what that's going for now if you're only going to be buying 10 or 15 or 20 of them buy 10 percent lower but if you're if you're only if you're going to be buying like 500 of them or 200 of them buy five percent or at market value because it just the it just takes so much time and that then you run into supply issues and so just just be aware of like when when you're investing just depending on how many you have, like 750k, that means you're buying like a, you're buying like a 60, 60 to 70 of them. I would be sniping them at like 11.5. Um, that's what I would have been doing. 11, 11.5 and just snipe, save, snipe, save, snipe, save, snipe, save. What to do? I have 500k. Flip, man. Mellow, mellow sec. Flip and continue to continue, continue with us, man. If you don't know what flipping is, I made a video. You can check out my video on flipping versus investing. Um, and so I want you to watch this video. This kind of goes into the the idea of of what flipping means when it comes to actually making coins. Gives you some uh, conceptual insight on uh, what I what I mean. Uh, not gonna lie, I have 200k right now, but I don't have time to flip. Is there any investments that can give me guaranteed coins in under a week? Yeah, so basically, if you see this, if you see this, Josh, if you see this, this 100% safe trade drop, if you see that drop, that's why I'd be investing in. And right now, there's not like a ton because we're in a Tuesday now, it's a sell period. Um, Wednesday's a new, I would wait until tomorrow to at least see, see what's gonna be coming out. 
and we're gonna have to wait a couple more days but if you really wanted to go in on something you could technically go in on like you go in on like thomas lamar or uh lucas hernandez he's going for 1400 try to snipe these for like 11 a thousand coins or 1100 i think you're in a pretty safe spot but i can't guarantee i can't guarantee anything at like 200k right now you, you're, you're gonna have to be flipping and so um the right now we're we're in a we're in a like a we're in a mid-level res uh sell period as we're coming off of that base so it's it may even be technically a small buy period so i guess it's like it's so basically the market just went like this Choo! straight down and now we're we're kind of coming up just a little bit so if you continue to rise that's what that's what we're kind of looking at and i don't know i i just can't i can't guarantee i can't gear I, I don't have any 100 percent for you right now i just don't have 100 percent for you um i wish i did um i really do i really wish i i did but I just don't have 100% right now. So we're, give me a couple days, we'll get you 100%. What is the best guaranteed profit investment right now for people with 1 million coins? It's really just flipping. It's flipping those gold commons uh, all the way up to like 5 million. Is it really uh, flipping those? Um, the best guaranteed profit, you, you're gonna wanna be looking in um, on the lease on these. I think that I think you're still okay if you guys have 500k a million coins. I think you're okay if you go in these Zeller Ions, try to get them for 12. Um, I think that's a pretty fair price for 84. I think 84. I think that's uh, I think it's a fair price for 12k. But again, the market should come down just a little bit with new substitutions out tomorrow. So I think you're okay on waiting for one day. Wait, wait till tomorrow. Wait to wait for the episode tomorrow. Uh, before we get into the next investments I, I would hold out of the market for today and see what's going on in tomorrow invest in harry kane he is so low now let's just check out harry kane Forty-seven k. Yeah, he's yeah. That's a that's a that's a low level resistance line. Yeah, that's a low level resistance line. You see that? It's a pretty low level resistance line, guys. So I would say that's not a bad one to go in on. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. But this is for five, six million coin players. Now, if you go into like the ninety-two at seventy-nine, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that wouldn't necessarily recommend that i would say maybe actually let's see if you guys can see if this guy comes down to woo, that's how to buy man if you can buy him for like 70k let's see how many times he would sell for like 70k there's one on bid let's see your 75k on bid 76 70k on buy 62 on bid this is where you guys really make some coins flipping. This is where you guys really make coins flipping. But uh, but yeah, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's terrible. Um, I, I'm not gonna drop the stamp. I wouldn't drop the stamp for it, but I don't think it's bad. Um, that's your reply to comments video for today, guys. Uh, until next time, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I apologize for getting to you guys late. As always, watch an ad to support the channel, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.